a very good morning to all of you welcome to ANB exam forum student we have come up with a new session on ethics and human interface and in today's session we are going to understand the essence and determinants of ethics using MCQ okay student one thing I would like to say that the questions which we are presenting in the session might not come in this exam but this will definitely help you in understanding uh, the ethics essence and the determinants okay so without wasting any time let's begin the session student the first question is on your screen how does ethics differ from morality okay these are the four options they are interchange interchangeable terms morality is cultural specific while ethics is universal ethics is based on personal preference morality is solely concerned with legal aspects okay so if you see all these options looks to be perfect so which one should be the correct answer student ethics is certain kind of behavior okay uh, which decides whether it is a wrong or whether it is a right okay and generally student ethics are universal okay it is not cultural specific it is not based on the person's preference if you go with the personal preference that is called morals okay and uh, morality is solely concerned with legal aspects that is also not true so option b seems to be the valid one and let's see the answer option b is the correct answer okay there are many definition of ethics uh, in coming mcq we will find out what is the correct definition of ethics what does ethics not encompass okay so these are the four options yes uh, ethics follow certain law okay ethics for sometime uh, follows culture norm also because it depends upon how uh, social settings are uh, there in certain region so ethics also encompass culture norm ethics is again uh, dependent on some time personal likes as well personal dis dislike also okay although it is universal but still one subset uh, it also depend upon the personal likes okay this scientific principle uh, it does not encompass there is no rule there is no scientific method through which you can say that ethics this is a correct ethics this is a, a wrong ethics okay so the option d is the correct answer so scientific principle does not encompass ethics okay let's see the next question how is rightfulness or wrongfulness determined in ethics okay as i told you ethics is all about what is right what is wrong okay but how is uh, what is right and uh, what is wrong how will you determine okay these are the four options basically this question defines your ethics okay this is basically definition of your ethics by personal preference okay by legal regulation okay through systematic study of human action yes student we have seen many options in the previous question also like ethics sometime include personal preference sometime include legal regulation sometime it is based on religious belief as well okay based on the region also those are called determinants okay okay determinants we will see more question on determinant in the upcoming slide but the correct and most appropriate definition of ethics is the conduct of behavior through systematic study of human action okay how human will react in certain kind of situation okay how uh, he will say that this situation is right this situation is wrong okay so option c is the correct answer let's see the next question what is the essence of ethics a very simple one it is not monetary gain so okay it will not gain you anything intrinsic quality determining character yes so as you know ethics is derived from the greek word ethos which means conduct or character 
so intrinsic quality determining character is the essence of ethics okay it will not advance to technological things and physical strength so option b is the correct answer let's see the next question where do ethics originate from okay so uh, ethics are individual preference no ethics are generally universal as we see in the last question so it could not be the individual preference okay it is based on cultural diversity it could be but it is generally uh, does not arrange from the cultural diversity so this you can also uh, ignore that uh, sense of justice in society yes so if you see there are two terms one is ethics second is morals okay or you can say versus values okay there is a slight difference between these three terminologies okay these ethics are generally universal and it is generally originated from this sense of justice okay so uh, if something is correct uh, say some uh, somebody has stolen something okay uh, you will say that it is ethically wrong but if you see the condition that suppose if he is very needy for that thing suppose he steals some uh, food because he is very poor then ethically he might be the correct okay so if we feel the sense of justice using ethics so option c is the correct answer let's see the next question at which level ethics operate a very simple one it is not uh, operate at individual level organization level political level only it operate at all the level individual organization social culture political and international so option d is the correct answer let's see the next question a very simple one what does ethical behavior lead to ethical will behavior lead to peace harmony respect and justice that is a correct one okay that's why uh, people are nowadays talking about the ethical decision making so because it will lead to peace harmony uh, it will not bring unhappiness chaos or conflict or isolations so option a is the correct answer let's see the next question how are ethics interrelated they are not interrelated that is wrong ethics are somewhat related independently exist without any connection there should be a connection between ethics so this is also wrong certain value cannot exist without other this is a correct one so this is one ethics this is other uh, ethics okay ethical behavior so there might be some connection between these two uh, ethical behaviors okay so certain value cannot exist without others only related with government organization it is also false so option c is the correct answer let's see the next question to ethical standard always align with legal regulation it yes it sometime but not always so option uh, a is wrong no they may transcend legal stipulation yes okay uh, for example uh, now in india homosexuality is uh, not ethical and it comes under legal regulation so previously it has no legal stipulation okay so in the same sense if you uh, see some ethical standard like in uh, temples you cannot uh, wear these type of dresses so it is not ethical and but uh, it align with the legal stipulation also so option b is the correct answer let's see the next question where are ethical standards determined okay legal documents there is no standard document which is which prescribe what is ethical okay there is no personal opinion that this is ethical this is non ethical again this is wrong religious scripture they tells you the ethical behavior but there is no standards at all so option c is also wrong social setting and cultural behavior is the right one okay so uh, i will i am telling you know, the determinants so basically determinants are the factor which determines this ethical behavior okay so one of the determinant is social setting and cultural value okay so option d is the correct answer 
this is a very good question what is the nature of ethics okay abstract and subjective yes straight away this is correct what does this abstract and subjective means abstract means which does not exist in material form okay which does not exist in material form for example if you take my laptop it is exist in material form so this is basically concrete but ethics are generally you can say it is an idea and idea generally are not in material form they are non materialistic and ethics are subjective it varies from one person to another okay so option a is the correct answer let's see the next question what does ethic preach to individual certainly it will not lead to aggressive behavior no specific behavior is also not to a certain kind of behavior as a word ethics means conduct or behavior or character so it will always lead to some certain kind of behavior so option c is the correct answer let's see the next question what plays a crucial role in shaping individual ethical behavior genetic make makeup no it is not genetical thing so uh, individual ethical behavior cannot be determined by genetics zodiac sign this is anyhow not true at all mental makeup and internalized value that is you can say it is correct one it plays a very crucial role in determining ethical behavior social media influence sometime it uh, do but maximum or most preferred one is option c option c is the correct answer quickly moving to the next question what is considered unethical even intention is pro pure this is also a good question okay i told you now about stealing okay so let's see what is unethical even if the intention is pure telling the true stealing borrowing lying so i already give you an example of stealing so stealing is the correct answer but their option d is given so option d can also be correct so option b is also correct option d is also correct how lying is uh, considered unethical even intention is pure okay i have uh, un i have misunderstood this question this this is option d only okay what is considered unethical even intention is pure okay so, see my intention is pure but i am lying okay so this is unethical basically so option d is a correct one okay i am lying something even though my intention is pure it is unethical okay so option d is the correct answer who or what determines the conduct of follower in society and organization social media influencer political leader role model celebrity fortune tellers okay student uh, the appropriate one is role model and celebrities uh, these Op others option like social media political leaders fortune tellers okay these also determine the uh, conduct in a society but they are lesser uh, one okay the most influencer thing is the role model and celebrities because most of the people are watching even nowadays political leaders uh, also determine uh, the conduct of the society but for this particular question option c should be the correct one which early environment is emphasized as crucial for development of ethical value this is again a good question so when we were born okay after that the first place where we determine our ethics is basically your family okay so family is the first place where uh everything is determined your ethics your behavior okay what do religious texts advocate in term of behavior in society okay that i i think already we have seen it is universal peace and ethical practice so religious texts is other determinant uh which follows the ethics okay so option c is the correct answer next determinant of ethics is time how does time influence ethical standard okay so if you go in the past like i told you about this homosexuality uh, 
in late years okay like if you go in 1800 this is not ethical this is eth not ethical but right now in 2024 it is ethical like other thing like parda system is parda system was there okay around 1800 1700 it was ethical at that time but now it is non ethical okay so there is different time different moral codes applies okay so option c is the correct answer so that's it so we have tried to understood the concept of essence and determinants of ethics using mcq and uh, we have i think completed our uh, session and uh, we are now wrapping it so if you have anything to say you can write in our comment box our team will definitely help you in answering that question okay so thank you for watching have a nice day